Howdy, howdy, everybody. Hey, um, there was something that I did. I recorded it, but for some reason, the video part of it did not take. The audio did, but the video did not. And I had explored that island, that um, continent part over there. And I will show you what I came across as far as loot. I did find a dripstone cave and the stuff in this chest is from that excursion. Um, now what we're going to do is we are going to, since I do not have one, we are going to make a boat and we are going to go on a little excursion in a boat. And we will see if there is anything to be seen or to be had from the area around the outskirts of this continent. And I'll show you how big it is. It's pretty big. Whoops. Don't want to turn. No, 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 no. Um, just so you guys are all aware, um, with the holidays, it may be a little hard to do three videos a week. I'm going to try, but if I can't, if it's only like one or two a week through the holidays, please be, bear with me. Um... I've got a senior in high school, which is our last year of school, and next year he'll be off to college. So he's got a lot of stuff going on right now. He's prepping for college and stuff. So it, he has a lot going on. And therefore, that makes it a lot going on for me as mom. <laughs> so, yeah, we, he, in fact, right as of we speak right now, he's on an overnight field trip checking out two colleges with a group that does that type of thing. Um around here it's called upward bound and what they do is they take kids to different colleges in their senior year and help them explore the opportunities that they have available and like I said they're on an overnight field trip it's like four schools or something that are they, that have kids in this group and they are on an excursion of their own shall we say um, they are visiting two school well two colleges that's about two hours away from us they're doing one today and one tomorrow and they are spending the night in a hotel at no cost to the student so I think it's a pretty awesome program and I'm so happy and so thrilled that my son is part of that that is just it's an, ama it's an amazing group and I'm happy that he's part of that however that being said, he's also in band. And with band is concerts and other stuff. So, yeah, like I said, there is the potential of not having a lot of time. Um, during the day, I pretty much will. That's when I try to get my recording done. But that's not always the case either, especially this week coming up. Um, 
not this current week, but the next week, the week coming up, um, I have three doctor's appointments or, well, coming up, and they're all in preparation for surgery. And one is on Monday, one is on Friday, and the other one is the following Monday. So, yeah, um, needless to say, my life has become very hectic. Can we get through here? Can we? Can we? Can we? I wanted to see if I could get in here because... It's an actual separation in the land. And it is turning night, wouldn't you know? But I am on peaceful currently because I did not want to be loading chunks and whatnot and not be able to respond to mobs and stuff. So what we're going to do is we are going to put our bed in our hot bar. Whoops, I can't go on that island, on that land. Um, let's go right here. Uh, put a torch. Actually, no, we're going to put the bed. And we'll sleep in the bed. Alright. We'll jump back in the boat. And we will continue on. But, like I said, this is pretty big. And covers quite a bit of ground. And I wandered all over this. But then it didn't take. One thing I did not get is I did not get any dark oak saplings. Now that is pretty, pretty weird. A floating tree. Seriously, that is weird. And I do not have an axe with me. That's why I didn't get, um, any dark oak saplings before. So let's come over here. All right, now we'll jump out here. That's not where I wanted that. I wanted it in the hole. To block the hole off. Alright. We are going... No! That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to place that. And... I have, well, I have one axe. That will be enough to at least get me a little bit of wood. Let's go over to this tree right here. Yes, I have minor 
in here, which is a Vanilla Tweaks data pack that allows the tree to come down like that. And I also have Rapid Leaf Decay, so that allows the, the leaves to decay right away. And that gave us exactly four saplings. Which is what we need for one tree. Okay, now that I have wood. Actually, I had wood. What was I thinking? Alright, let's make a couple more axes. Because I'd like to get a few more than just four saplings. That gave us up to eight saplings now. All right, let's go get this one. What am I gonna do? All right, there we go. Now we have our dark, dark oak saplings. Now the only trees that we don't have are jungle and spruce. And that's it, jungle and spruce, other than the nether woods. Wow, look at that, guys. Let the load the chunks load. Wow, guys. A jungle. Hopefully, we will be able to get jungle saplings. And I've got a kitty on the chair behind me. And guess what? She's pawing at my back. It does not exactly feel good, guys. It really doesn't. Okay, we are out of axes again. So we are going to see if we can get a little bit of stone. That's just gravel in there. Let's get some stone from over here. Hello, lava. This actually looks pretty deep.
Got some iron. A spawner. And for those of you that might want to know what the coordinates are of this spawner, there they are. I personally will not be using this spawner. Because it's a spider spawner and I already have a double cave spider spawner. So... However, I will take the loot. Ah, you know what? I'm just gonna go like this and beat it up and break the chest. Okay, this is a little bigger than I thought it was going to be. And it looks like it goes up quite a ways too. Goes up quite a ways, but don't go very far after that. So, I want to know from you guys what you want me to do with copper. We have collected quite a bit of it, and I want to know from you guys what you think we ought to do with the copper. All right, let's first of all make some blocks of raw copper and I'm going to make an iron. No, I'm not going to do iron axe. Um Now, let's see, how many can I actually make and store? I don't need the dirt. Um, and I don't need rotten flesh. And I don't need beetroot, but I do want my crafting bench. Okay. And I did that because I'm almost out of torches. Okay, I don't need the bread 
so I'm gonna get rid of that. Okay, now I've got a couple stacks of torches. I feel better about that. I think what we're going to do There we go. Okay. There's even more to this cave. And there's more that goes down there. I'm not going down there though. Alright, I want the iron. Um. And this cave just keeps going and going and going. Okay, um, crafting bench. Going to mine this all up. All right, now I'm going to drop that for a second. Go back here, pick up that. And we'll grab all that. And we'll make some more blocks of copper. And you know what? I'm not going to worry about grabbing those few pieces of gunpowder. However, I do want my crafting table. So, because I don't have any more. Well, I have wood, but not with me. Well, I got dark oak, but I don't want to make 50 billion crafting benches. So, I'm going to drop that. I don't really need it, so. Okay, this keeps going. And going. And going. We'll grab this ore. And we'll grab this. All right, we need our crafting bench again. And we'll make some more blocks of copper. We'll grab our crafting bench up. This is why I want the crafting bench on me. All right, 
I'm going to grab up these ores, make them into blocks of the raw material. And we'll go from there. So let me do that, guys, and I'll be back. And what you do is you right click, and there we go. We just gotta chase them. And then we gotta find room in the inventory for them. Fine, we'll get rid of that. I would rather have glowberries. This is awesome though. I want to explore this further and I want to be able to um, get more stuff like maybe get an axolotl. There, we can grow them at home now. I would like to get some azaleas. But what do I get rid of? I wonder, guys. Nope, doesn't look like it. Oh, well, maybe. I'm wondering if this might be the start of one of those um, iron veins. Kind of looks like it. Might be. This is awesome. But I'm going to do some mining here, guys. Mine some of this stuff out. And um, then I'm going to work my way back out of the cave. Get a couple jungle saplings because we did see the jungle. And uh, then I'll meet you guys back at base. Yikes. Well guys, there is the loot of the um there we go. But there's the loot that we came back with. Including the jungle saplings, jungle wood, I made sure I grabbed some moss blocks so that we can make our own moss farm. So that way we don't have to carry all the stuff back from the lush cave into the cave apart and stuff. We can leave it intact. We can make our own moss farm to get all the azalea bushes that we want and stuff. The only thing we can't get from there is the drip leaf, which we did get. And I did not see any spore blossoms. I looked around and I didn't find any. <clears throat> However, I did find a lot of iron and I found a lot of copper, which is really good because the iron we desperately need. Um, we were running really low on iron. 
So in the meantime, I will get this stuff smelted up so that it's usable and until next time guys this has been Didi bye bye for now